Hello and welcome to E3D's The Fountain Part 2, Low Res Modeling, UVing and Baking. And in this video we go through the entire process of creating the low res version of this fountain. And you can see we create these modular chunks that will end up getting assembled inside your game engine or inside Max or whatever. And we try to reuse the high res mesh to create the low res as much as possible, but there are some situations where that just doesn't work. Although this is fairly high res, it could be a good hero piece for a next gen video game. Or the same techniques could be used to take this down even further for an LOD or another low res mesh for a different kind of game. Maybe for a console port or even maybe a PS2 or something. So we start off by optimizing the high res down to where we're only using what we need so we don't have all of that high res in our scene. And then we start creating the low res base and then the middle and then the top and then once the low poly has been created we then go and start adding UVs you can see here in the base uh, we have a rectangle texture so we can show off how that's different than a normal square texture and we do a lot of tricks here where we overlap UVs and try to maximize space and get the most out of this you can see how these UVs are laid out nice and compact and there's a lot of clever overlapping and stuff like that and then once the UVs are created, we then move on to baking out the maps. And I try to go into detail in all the different options for the render to texture dialog box. And also the projection and trying to get a really good bake. First we do a few tests to make sure everything is looking good on the low res. And then we crank up the settings and add some nice filters and super sampling to get a good result. And then I try to show a good workflow on how to bake out your AO separate from your normal. And also we bake out two different versions of the maps. One with everything exploded or separated from each other. And another time with, every, with most everything together. And then after we create the low res, do the UVs, and bake out our maps. Then at the end I go into Photoshop. And we combine all our maps together and take the best of our baked maps and then we clean them up and get them ready for texturing and the texturing portion of this fountain will probably be in part three which should be out in a couple months and i really appreciate all those who bought the fountain part one and hopefully part two is just as good and as informative to everyone and put a lot of time into it and the video is over five hours long and should be very comprehensive and give you great tips and ideas into a professional workflow on how to do something complex like this fountain and get it ready for a next-gen game. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. 